Our real cognition is in a fantastic location, the Esplanade of the Cinquantenaire in Brussels, for a also fantastic event, an unprecedented event in military history. It's an actual field training exercise decided by Major General Martez, commander of the land component of the Belgian army. This convoy, set up for the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Belgium, gathered three parts. The first convoy is made of actual current Belgian Army vehicle. The second convoy, Convoy B, is made of vehicles of the World Heritage Institute, actually the Royal Army Military Museum, and the third part is made of private collectors' vehicles. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, Major Hoster, and I'm the military commander of the Liberation Column North. This week, uh, we are trying to get once again uh, over the historical route that the, in the time in 44, the liberations, uh, the liberation uh, Allied troops have done to, in order to get uh, Belgium free. So uh, we are composed in three columns. One, uh, the first column is a military column with the uh, vehicles we are using now and then we have the, the, the second and the third column with uh, historical vehicles uh, like they had have used them in uh, World War II. Why we did that it, for, for us for the staff of the motorized brigade and myself and my guys it's a good exercise in staff planning and staff planning for organizing movements, organizing uh, deployments, uh, organizing as a matter of fact, everything in order to get a unit, a big unit, three columns, from point A to point B. In the future, in uh, January of 2020, we will do the same thing, uh, starting from Bastogne, to remember the liberation of Bastogne and, and further on to Luxembourg. Our convoy uh, is part of the War Heritage Institute and uh, we decided to, to put uh, 20 vehicles on the Liberation Column, uh, mostly from Bastogne Barracks and uh, the focus uh, on the vehicles is uh, the one of the Brigade Piron, such as that one. Brigade Piron was uh, built in uh, the UK with Belgian soldiers, it was embedded in the UK Army and did participate to the debarkment in Normandy and did uh, free a part of nor northern France and did participate to the liberation of Brussels uh, and uh, the Brigade Piron was uh, a part of the convoy who did liberate Brussels and that's why uh, we have uh, the, uh, the vehicles of that brigade here to commemorate the liberation of Belgium. I'm a medical doctor with the grade of rank of colonel in the Belgian army, but I'm retired. And I'm uh, the second in command in squadron B of this column, which tells three squadrons. A with uh, modern military vehicles, B with vehicles belonging to the military museum, the army museum of Brussels, and C are vehicles belonging to private Berg, uh, civilians that are taking part of the commemoration of the liberation of Belgium. My jeep is, has been transformed following the rules of the 6th Airborne Division of the British Army to be transported by, by gliders to, from England to Arnhem. So there are some modifications that have been made following the British rules. My name is André Whitmer. I'm the chairman of the Belgian Military Vehicle Trust. For the first time, we joined an army convoy with a private vehicle. We are collectors of World War II vehicles, and really is the first opportunity for us to, to join the army for an unofficial convoy. It's a really a, a real opportunity to make a, a job together. It's the first time uh, maybe we can uh, understand the Americanized now the private collectors, private collectors of military vehicle, of course.
driving a, a big vehicle, it's, a, it's an honor and, and uh, excitement to be here today. Uh, like the Allies did uh, 75 years ago, uh, we're now driving through Belgium. Uh, it's not uh, just driving a big vehicle uh, of uh, 20 tons. Uh, of course, uh, the vehicles in World War II they were much bigger and heavier, but uh, it's, uh, um, it's an excitement. Of course, yes, yes. We're trying to uh, connect the past with the uh, present, of course, and uh, that's uh, a really strong connection, I think. My name is Warwick Bolted. I'm from Manchester, uh, UK. I'm uh, participating in the uh, Liberation Column to commemorate the 75th uh, anniversary of liberation of uh, Belgium. It's a uh, Ford M8 Greyhound, built in 1944. Uh, it's been upgraded by the Greeks at some point. And it's, to me, it's an ideal vehicle to uh, present ourselves in the convoy. I think it's a good representation of people across the board, the, the modern current army the veterans with the old and they see their old vehicles here they may recognize and the collaboration between the three is probably very similar to the war time where we had the, the civilians under occupation and the military and the foreign military. Mm -hmm. 